Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to the third video on the tutorial on Revit structures that is modeling of a 4 into 4 room G plus 1 in Revit structures. So in today's video we'll see how to insert some rebars. So we'll just click on here and we will do it in the back to the wireframe view and after that we can go to the level of a particular beam. So for that we'll just go to the level 1 and we'll go to our the option of views We'll cut a section here in the middle if we want and after that we can also you know decrease uh, the length of the section we'll just click double click on this section to enter it and after that we'll just insert our rebars for that we'll go to the structure option uh, rebar option click on ok and after that first of all we'll insert our stirrups for our beam so we'll search a shape similar to our stirrups in the structure we'll select this option maybe and uh, before applying it we can change the particular type of placement to parallel to cover parallel to work plane so this this uh, particular setting works that is parallel to work plane for you know assigning your stirrups so before that we can also change the properties of the stirrups we will uh, duplicate a view let's say 8 mm stirrups we want and we will change the bar diameter to 8 mm you can place the bar diameter as per your choice and also the you know, the hook lengths and all material also you can define as per your preference we'll click on ok and after that we'll just assign our particular stirrups so after assigning your stirrups uh, you can you need to make sure that you click it and in the option of this rebar set you just uh, do it as maximum spacing and you give it this maximum spacing of 150 mm so you can do this as per the design you can also check it in the 3d view as you can see this stirrups have been assigned now going back to the section view will uh, assign some longitudinal rebars for that we'll go back to the structure option rebar option and after going to the rebar option we can select the option of a plane bar we will just change the properties of it we'll duplicate it and let's say we want a 16 mm bar 16 mm okay bar diameter will do it as 16 mm and then click on OK and after that we need to change the placement to perpendicular to cover now it will automatically snap when when I just do it in the near the corners so we want to apply it in the four corners so as you can see if there is any mistake you can always uh, have the option of pressing ctrl plus Z and correcting it so now as you can see let's check in our 3d view the longitudinal bars have also been assigned so we have four bars of 16 mm and we have stirrups of 8 mm dia placed at a spacing of 150 mm center to center so friends in today's video we have seen how to place reinforcement in our beams so for the upcoming videos stay tuned to our channel that's all for today Bye bye. We have launched for you a complete recorded course on G3 building design using Tecla Structural Designer in which all the aspects of your planning, structural design and making the final structural drawing sheet will be covered and in this course we will also include two live demonstrations and two doubt clearing sessions for you. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and you can contact the number which has been given here and also you can register using the link which has been given in the description.